So hello beings of Earth. Today is the first episode of Kyle David Ball's cooking show thing. Kitchen time. Yeah! So, <laughs> obviously we are not in the kitchen right now, and it is almost midnight. And you know what? That is the best time to cook, as you guys may not know because you guys are just now tuning in to learn how to cook. So let's get started. First I need to go pee because I don't feel like peeing while cooking. Here we go. So now that we are in the kitchen, we are going to want to start cooking and- oh, oh, whoa, we are not in the- So now that we are in the kitchen, my parents are sleeping right above us. They're literally in the room above us. And it's midnight, so we got to be a little quiet. But what we are going to be cooking today is rice in five minutes. Oh, wait, okay, no, we're actually not. We're going to be fixing microwavable mac and cheese because this is really hard. Uh, mm. <laughs> This is what's good about this cook show. There's a bunch of jokes. <laughs> okay, but we were actually fixing our elbows. I'm dead serious about this one. Like, I'm gonna put butter noodles in this, and this like may not be hard for like regular like people that cook, but I don't cook. I cook um, chicken noodle soup, ramen noodles, mac and cheese, like stuff like that. So honestly, this is gonna go terribly wrong because my mom is not here to help me. So let's do this. Okay, so first I haven't even read it. I'm guessing that you get a pan because it's gotta be my or it's gotta be on the stove somehow. I don't think that there's directions. You could microwave this actually, which I I don't think that you're supposed to. No, you're not supposed to. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put water in this and then put my um, noodles in there. I don't know how much. Okay, okay, okay. We are off to a good start. Whoops. Okay, so now that that mess is cleaned up, let's um, put this on the stove. I believe I want to do this one. Um, okay, this, this burner right there is getting the hot one. This is the hot one, that's not, mm, mm Okay, so you like, you gotta look at the circles and I think that this circle's this one. Okay, the box is wet. So this is like starting to produce bubbles at the bottom. They're not, they're not rising at the top yet, which I, I don't think that that's a boil then. Aren't you like supposed to move it around like this a little? Like, what, why, why am I asking you? You are the people watching the show from The Professional Chef. Of course you do. I hate myself. I filled it more than I thought I did. It's closer to the top. Yeah, I'm a chef. What to it? Uh, you can hire me for birthday parties for chefs, by the way. Um, I think it's like $3 a day. I do it. Um, go anywhere in the world. Just pay me 3 bucks. I'll be there. I can cook um, ramen noodles, chicken noodle soup. Maybe, if you're lucky, some butter noodles, some elbows. Um, I may make a mess and or catch your house on fire. I don't know. Uh, it's the risk you're willing to take for a um, seven or three dollars. I forget what I said. Um, either one, seven, three, you pick. You know, I'll be there. I'll do it. May you regret it? Maybe. Do I get my money? Yeah. Do you get food? Probably. I don't know. Haven't done yet. Haven't done a birthday party yet. You don't know what to expect. I may do this. May make a mess. Maybe a fire. I don't know. I don't know. That's the commercial for me being a chef at your birthday party. Call this number. Ding. <laughs> My mom always lets me get one out before she starts cooking so I can chew on it. And you know what? That's what I'll do. Only one. Only one fell out. Only one. Only one fell out, yo. Hashtag yolo swag, yo. Oh, I should probably get a fork to stir it. And you know what? I don't even need to stir to look. Or er, so I don't know if you're supposed to read the box and figure out how long to put them in. But I'm gonna put them in until like they're soft or until they catch on fire. Either one. Either one tells me that they're done. It's getting a little steamy. It's getting some steam all over my hand. It hurts. Can't stir. Can't stir when you're uncomfortable. I mean, I'm the chef. Like you're, you're the one watching the show. Okay. 
I'm the one telling you how to cook. And if you don't cook like this, then that is your fault. Gee willikers. I do need to get a mat out for whenever like I'm done cooking. Which one should I get? Should I get one of these cool new rubber ones? Or this one? Or this blue one? Call call the number below and, and tell me your response. I'll I'll be waiting by the phone to see the responses. Oh, looks like it's gonna be this one today. Thanks everyone who voted. Yay! Oh shucks, I should probably tend to my noodles. Dude, you know what you, like the best thing to do? Like this is what I'm gonna do at my birthday parties. Like when I invite like I'm invited you guys' birthday party to cook. I'm gonna like leave this unattended and super hot. And then I'm gonna go tell like the kids like a story, like I can tie animal balloons, like I can tie it into a knot. I can um ah, it's getting hot. Um, you can, I don't know, man, I do anything you ask for at the birthday party, I can do it. Um, but yeah, like, when the food's cooking, I can do st other stuff. Like, I can take your dog for a walk, I can, I, honestly, like, I could kill a man. Like, if that's what the birthday party requires, like, I'm, I'm willing to do it. I mean, like, you gave me the three to seven dollars that are needed for me to do the job, and you know what, I will. And most of the time, kitchens have, like, one of these things, you know? Like, and you just jabity, you know, what, whoever you want me to, like, like, you tell me, you, the person right there, you tell me who to kill, and you know what, you paid me, I will do it. You want to know, like, the main thing you should have in your kitchen? I have it right here on my kitchen table, actually. Shrek. Shrek the VCR tape of the first movie, you know, you do need this, like, you need this in your stove, or not in your stove, I mean, you could have it in your stove. But you need this in your kitchen because you know what? You never, you never know, you know? You, you like, you never know when you need this. You never know. You never know. And it's always like, it's good to become prepared, you know? Like, I could be like stirring that right now, but instead I could be, I'm gonna be reading the back of the Shrek, this first Shrek movie on the VHS, you know? Nice. See, so you learn something, it's nice. Okay, so I don't know if the noodles are soft yet, and I'm not sure how you figure it out. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty bouncy. They ba oh, okay. I mean, they bounce all over the place when I use the fork. Like, they look, like, squishy. I don't think you're supposed to eat one right away. Here's the lucky victim. He's a little steamy, um, and so is the fork. So, you know, you, you give it a few. Mmm. Oh, yeah, it's ready. It's ready. Whew. It's hot, too. It's got the hot liquids. Ah, nice placement by Kyle David Hall. <laughs> Wait, this isn't a sport. Okay, so when I wanted to turn that light up there, the thing that like chops up stuff, like the thing that moves around in the sink, it, the, the switches are right next to each other, and I don't know which one it was, so when I switched it on, it started chopping on this glass cup that's like shoved down there. I don't know if I broke it. She's steamy. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. Okay, got some on me. It's okay. It's okay. Ooh. Ah, delicioso. Okay, so you're gonna get a giant slab of butter like so. And you're just gonna... Okay, and... Hold it, like, just... Come... Oh, there it goes. It's nice. I'm just gonna stir her right up in there. Ooh, she's a little steamy. I like that. Okay. She gotta stir it up, and you gotta stir it up, and you... See, if you hire me for your birthday, I make songs, like, as I cook. So the kids can be, like, sitting around super duper close to the hot stove. And like as they're like not paying attention, they're like, oh, I like this song, and put their arm on the hot stove. Like, that's not my fault. I'm sorry. But like, I, you pay me the seven bucks, that's all. You don't pay me for like, if anybody gets hurt, you know? So don't be like trying to come back at me like, oh, you, you hurt, you won't pay, you know? Like, dude, you're the adult here. Um, you, I, I, what am I saying? And once you finish perfecting your noodles, you sit down, you don't take it out of the pan because you are a champ and this is your noodle. And you just eat up, dude. You take a nice... Mmm. And you be so proud of yourself. And you know what you can add on the side? A nice cup of peace tea. Mmm. -mm. Mmm. <laughs> oh my. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Um, I almost died. It's like almost one in the morning. 
I'm eating noodles out of a pan with a piece tea. Um, I have like the gallon things and you, mmm, and like you pour them in the thing. And yes, <laughs> so I hope you guys had a good time. I know I did. It was fun. Um, I was honestly scared at one point because I thought I was going to die. I've never cooked. But you know what? It actually turned out really good. Like, I'm proud of myself. I'm going to cook more. But yes, I, I love you guys so much. Uh, go to my channel. I'll be making videos more on there. I know I said that next week, I, or last week, I think. No, I said that next week. <laughs> I said that last week, I'm pretty sure, on this channel. But I'm working on videos, so... Um, yeah, I should be getting them out pretty soon. I love you guys so much. Peace out. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Time to feast. At almost one in the morning. Mmm. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs>